Well, here I am in Antigonish, Nova Scotia. That's right, I've made it all the way across the country. And I wish I could show you what it's like out here, but I'm in isolation. This is day 7 of 14 of my self-isolation to join the Atlantic bubble. And until I finish that, I can't go outside. So this is my impression of Antigonish so far. This is literally all I've seen um, because I showed up in darkness. I'm self-isolating on Court Street, and I'm told that that building across from my bedroom is the court that the street is named for. Thankfully, I'm also told there's no longer a jail there. So this is the apartment where I'm spending my isolation, and it's just an apartment. It's not that interesting. I'm set up in the living room with my workspace, and there's a kitchen and a bedroom, but I have to thank the farmer that found it for me. And I realized I think this is the largest apartment I've ever had to myself as an adult. So I have to thank Robert, and I think his aunt and uncle live downstairs, for their hospitality, because they're just letting me stay here. Um, I feel super welcome, so thank you to Robert and his family for this. I want to show you a little bit from the rest of my journey, because in my last video I was in the middle of northern Ontario, and I feel like I should show you how I got the rest of the way to Nova Scotia. And the rest of that journey was compressed into two epic days. Uh, the first day, I pretty much spent the entire day in a snowstorm until the very end when I finally got to Ottawa. And that was a normal length day. I drove for eight hours. But the next day, the last day of my trip, I was trying to go from Ottawa to Antigonish in one stretch because I wasn't allowed to stop in New Brunswick. And I didn't think it was a great idea to stop in Quebec, which is the hot spot for COVID. So this was 14 hours in Google, and it took me 16 hours in person. And I don't ever want to do another 16 hour drive. But it started at six in the morning. I got up and I was on the road and got out of Ottawa fairly easily. But that meant I hit Montreal in rush hour. So this is what my journey looked like for an hour and a half around Montreal. Um, and then it got better. I basically drove along the southern bank of the St. Lawrence for six hours until I reached what is possibly the most inviting town name in all of Canada. St. Louis du Haha, or I suppose Saint Louis de Haha, -ha, um, just sounds like a place you want to visit. Sadly, I didn't stop because this was around hour 11 and I still had to drive through all of New Brunswick, but hopefully I can visit on the way back. Once I got into New Brunswick, I honestly don't know what it's like in New Brunswick or Nova Scotia because it was dark. So my memory of the drive through New Brunswick and Nova Scotia is basically police checkpoints um, where they were checking to make sure I had a place to quarantine. And well, here I am. Um, and here I'll be for another week. So you can check in again next week and hopefully I'll have some stories about what I've been doing here in my isolation. Uh, you can do that by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, you can follow the documentary at thehandsthatfeedus.ca or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram.